In this video, I'd like to provide a full walkthrough in explaining how to convert a 21 chord button auto harp to an all keys 60 harmony chord bar configuration. So before we start, we need to obtain the following items. So we need 19 blank chord bars. We need a pen for marking out the actual location of the strings on each of the chord bars. And we need a craft knife for cutting out the actual locations for the strings on the chord bar. This diagram shows the actual end result that we are seeking to achieve. As you can tell, it shows the actual chord bars numbered 1 to 21, with number 1 starting at the very top and 21 at the very bottom. And as regards the chord bars, they are highlighted in different colours in three groups. So we have the diminished third chord bars. There are three of them. They are highlighted in blue bold. And then we have the augmented third chord bars. There are four of them, and they are highlighted in red bold. And then we have the 12 major minor the seventh chord bars. So before I go about explaining which notes need to be cut out on which chord bar, I'd like to provide an explanation of how the actual dampening patterns can be used in order to produce 60 different harmonies. So in this first diagram here, it shows a chord bar from one of the diminished third chord bars. And for the diminished thirds, they are just like a conventional chord bar. It's just one chord bar per chord sound. So in this case, this is the chord bar for the chord of A minor diminished third, and, and it lets through the notes of C, E flat, F sharp, and A, which form the chord of A minor diminished third. And because those sounds are the same sounds as the chords of the diminished thirds of C minor and E flat minor and F minor, so this chord button also plays the diminished third for those keys. This next diagram shows the two chord bars that are required in order to produce the sound of C7. And so with the chord bar at the bottom, this is the chord bar for the major minor 7th of C major, A minor, and C7. It allows the actual strings for those harmonies to ring through. So those notes are the notes of C, E, and G for C major, C, E, and A for A minor, and C, E, G, and B flat for C7. So in order to obtain the C7 chord, we need to dampen out the note of A. And for that, uh, we use the chord bar 8, which dampens out the notes of A, C sharp, and F, leaving just the notes of C, E, G, and B flat, which make up the chord of C7. This diagram here shows the two chord bars from the previous diagram. As well as that, we have an additional chord bar here, which is chord bar number 17. And so we want to produce the actual chord of C major, so we need to dampen out the note of B flat. So this is done by adding in chord bar 17, which dampens out the notes of B flat, D, and F. So that leaves just the notes of C, E, and G, which make up the chord of C major. So next, this diagram shows the actual chord bars required to produce chord of A minor. And once again, we have chord bar 20 and chord bar 17, same as the previous diagram. But instead of using chord bar 8, we need to dampen out the actual note of G. So for this, we need the chord bars 14, which dampens out the notes of G, B, and D flat, leaving us just the notes of C, E, and A, which make up the chord of A minor. This diagram here shows the actual three chord bars required in order to produce the chord of C major augmented third. So for this, we need to press the chord bars so that it allows the notes of C, E, and G sharp to ring through. So this is what these three chord bars do. And just to point out that the notes of C, E, and G sharp also make up the augmented third chord of E major and A flat major. So we just need to press the same chord bars in order to produce those chords for those keys. So next, we'll just have a quick walkthrough of which notes need to be cut out on which chord bar. So to begin with, in this diagram, it shows the group of three diminished third chord bars. So if you are doing the conversion as you are watching the video, it may be useful just to press freeze on the video and make notes of which notes need to be cut out for which chord bar. Or if you are watching this on a computer, it may be useful to do a screen print. Next, this diagram here shows the schema for the dampening pattern for the four augmented third chord bars, chord bar 8, 11, 14, and 17. Next, we have the 12 major minor and 7th chord bars. So starting at the top, these are the top four, which are chord bar 2, chord bar 3, chord bar 5, and chord bar 6. 
and these are the next four, which are chord bar 7, chord bar 9, chord bar 12, and chord bar 13. And these are the bottom four, which are chord bar 15, chord bar 16, chord bar 18, and chord bar 20. So I won't go into the details of how to go about trimming out the actual notes on each individual chord bar because there are loads of resources out there on the internet written by people who have more experience in doing that. But what I'll do in this video is that I'll just briefly explain what I did when I did my conversion. On this photo, it shows the chord bar of the diminished third chord of A minor. I laid out the actual chord bar flat on the strings at the bottom of the strings and I made sure that the actual chord bar is aligned to the actual spokes so that it's correctly positioned. And it's very important to make sure that the actual ends of the actual chord bar are facing in the correct direction. And as well as that, I do highly recommend making a note of each harmony on each chord bar because with so many different chord bars, it's very easy to lose track of which chord bar is which harmony. Then what I do is that using a pen, I mark out the actual location of the strings on the chord bar itself and that allows me to actually cut out the velvet for the dampening. This next photo shows the chord bar for C major which is the C major, A minor and C seventh chord bar and this photo shows the chord bar for one of the augmented third chord bars and this is different from the other two previous photographs because this chord bar is a positive so when we cut out the notes for the augmented third, we need to make sure that it's the one with the velvet sticking out, whereas with the others, we need to cut out the actual gap in the velvet. So once we've cut out all the velvet on all the 19 different chord bars, then we need to slot them into place. This is where they need to go. So once we have all the 19 chord bars in place, then we're ready to start playing our 60 different harmonies. So there are 60 different harmonies when written down on paper. In terms of chord sound differences, they are 43 different chord sounds. So that is all for this video. In another video, I hope to be able to show how to actually go about practicing and getting to learn all those 60 harmonies and which chord buttons to press in order to produce those harmonies. I hope you have enjoyed watching this video. If you have any feedback or comments, please leave them down below. Otherwise, in the meantime, have a nice day.